What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. I've had a lot of people asking me, what do these drones in New Jersey actually look like? Not blurry photos taken with an iPhone from far away. And, and shout out to even my Samsung people that have that 200 times zoom. It's very hard to keep that phone steady at that zoom level. But uh, you guys have asked, what, is, what do these Archer Aviation aircraft look like? And some of them do look like that. Some of them also do look like uh, a new Bell product uh, that I've seen that's not really a drone. That's actually a aircraft. But, uh, or, you know, it's not an electric aircraft. But I digress. Uh, let's roll the intro and get directly into it. <music> What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. If you hear the noise in the background, I'm brewing some coffee because uh, I got to get my day started. And uh, yeah, anyways, before I roll out to uh, base for the day, I figured I'd talk a little bit about what these drones actually look like. And I've had a lot of people say, well, TK, how come you can cover this drone stuff? And I'm like, well, it is Stellantis related. I mean, Stellantis did invest 250 and then another... I know they're over a quarter of a billion dollars in on Archer Aviation. Um, so these aircraft are electric, and in some cases, they're building hybrid models, so gas slash electric, uh, for the United States military. And it looks like Archer Aviation's military division is probably going to outdo, which, of course, this is what happens, their civilian division or commercial division. I'm going to throw up some clips here that you can see what they look like as they take off, land, fly, and talk about some of the specs. Now, I'll play a, a clip later from uh, Bloomberg where they were talking with the CEO from Archer. They specifically stated that these vehicles have almost no heat signature, which would make sense because they said the vehicles or the aircraft the small short buses they've seen flying in New Jersey have zero heat signature. So I'm going to drop this up here. This is a short video which can show you the flying capabilities. Uh, they have the ability to hover and they have a tilt rotor design. Very similar to what you would expect to see on that new Bell aircraft that's supposed to take over for Blackhawks uh, in the Army. And uh, very similar to the uh, Osprey, which you would see with the Navy and the Marines. It basically comes from a vertical uh, position and the rotors slowly tilt as it picks up speed. Now, the electric version of this, which I know has been delivered to the Air Force at this point, I believe the video is still up on the Air Force, but they did publish it publicly. Um, this aircraft, this um, VTOL, whatever they want to call this thing, is uh, I saw flying it at excess of 115 uh, miles an hour in ground speed, uh, which is not bad for that. These are basically, on the civilian side, air taxis. They're going to be used to get people from, say, Manhattan to LaGuardia, right? Or Manhattan to some other spot at the Port Authority um, on the New Jersey side. They'll be used to go you know, back and forth, you know, five or six times probably before they have to be charged on the electric side. Uh, and they'll probably do the same thing in Los Angeles. You know, I, I'm out here on the West Coast, and if you ever go to LA, you know, a 15-mile or 20-mile trip can take you over an hour. And now you can just jump on one of these air taxis and then catch an Uber from the landing zone and be there in five or ten minutes, which is uh, pretty cool. So there is a a need for it. I think it's a little bit ahead of its time on the civilian side. On the military side, I don't. I think the military side, it's 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 ready for ready ready to go. But <clears throat> let me give you this quick clip of Archer Aviation's CEO also talking about the product, so you have an idea of where they're going. Done in partnership with Andrew. So we're building a hybrid electric 
vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Um, it will have a lot of the same capabilities that you've seen on the commercial side. So these are vehicles that can be produced at much lower cost. They're vehicles that have low acoustic, low thermal signatures. And so applications that will be um, you know, very helpful towards um, defense vehicles. Um, I think it's also really important to um, the US Department of Defense that we add new capabilities. There's this whole new trend in affordable autonomous aircraft that can help bring new capabilities, but also at the same time dramatically lower costs. You've been working with the Department of Defense for a few years, going back to 2021, but now you're just creating this separate defense division. Why are you doing it now? And what's different about defense tech going into 2025? Is, is this about a new administration? Yeah, so Archer has uh, a team of around 1,000 people, and we've been working for a long time on building out the capabilities of our aircraft. As the aircraft matured, it allows us to take that platform and build variants of it that can be useful across different applications. You combine that with the new administration, and you have an incredible opportunity for us to dramatically expand our business. So on the commercial side, it can be certainly very big, um, but it also is, for some people, hard to define. On the defense side, um, it's very clear that there are new needs that the Defense Department um, you know, is looking for, and we can certainly fill those as well. So the opportunity here really is uh, pretty impressive. What's the type of infrastructure that has to be in place for the Defense Department at bases here uh, and at outposts around the world? And there you guys have it. Um, look, I'm sure that there's probably other hobbyists or other people that are flying stuff. Uh, damn, this cough is killing me. Uh, up in New Jersey right now. Um, I can't attest for 50 drones coming in off of the ocean. I haven't seen that or I haven't seen that video. Um, and knowing what can be done with drones now coordinated with software. I don't know if you've seen like drone shows where they can like make something look like something uh, like a picture or a design in the air. Nothing surprises me in that aspect. But I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.